Although Jane Eskin's career became defined by first, her involvement in public service was largely born of the Cuban Missile Crisis, which compelled her to choose between building a bomb shelter for her family and working to protect all families of Tennessee. She chose the latter. She began by participating in the broader process of advocacy and education with the Apolitical League of Women Voters. But in the early 1970s, she made a bold decision that the best way for her to make a difference was to dive into the political process itself. In 1973, she became the first woman to help lead a statewide political campaign, beginning her work to break the glass ceiling and pave the way for other women. In her first bid for public office, she became the first woman to win either the Democratic or Republican nomination for statewide office when she ran for U.S. Senate in 1978. Two years later, she became the first woman to hold statewide office in Tennessee when she won a seat on the Public Service Commission. She later went on to serve as chair of that commission. In 1986, she ran for governor of Tennessee. I can't vote for a woman. I just wish she wasn't a woman. I don't believe those voices reflect the real views of Tennessee. I don't believe that half the people of this state lost their chance to be governor on the day they were born. Though she placed second for the nomination behind Ned McWhorter, she worked tirelessly, rallying support to help him win the election. A lifetime dedicated to public service, Jane has given her time, talent, and treasure to countless organizations, many of which share her mission of helping women achieve. Our friend Jane Eskin has been a trailblazer her entire life. From the first time she ran for office in 1977, right down to today, she's been the picture of perseverance and bravery. With her dedication and commitment to win, she was an example to all women that they too could break into the so-called man's world. And even though she didn't win every election, she always had a winning attitude about every race she entered and every job she undertook. We salute you. We're honored that you've been our friend, and we're forever grateful for all you've done for us, for Tennessee, and for America. Such an accomplished career, and always a champion of the people. What she is perhaps most proud of is her marriage of 59 years to husband Richard, the success of her children, Ellen and Billy, and her six grandchildren. Jane Eskin, a life of service, meaning, and purpose. A lifetime of achievement.